Yeah, okay, you're natural. You just have crushed testosterone like that of a woman and you built an amazing physique. How is that possible? Well, I'm gonna tell you how. PDs, SARM, steroids, you know. Greg Doucette is being completely reckless in his recent video with Alex Eubank, calling him out as a fake natty. And whether or not Alex Eubank is natural or not is to be determined, but the arguments are weak and borderline toxic. Remember Isaiah Miranda? Still to this day, swears, guy's natural, 100%, of course. And so because Isaiah Miranda's test levels from almost two years ago are low, that means that they're related. This is comparing apples to oranges. Let's get this straight right now. Alex Eubanks' test levels are almost 10 times higher than Isaiah Miranda's were almost two years ago. Isaiah Miranda's test levels back then were equivalent to a 10 year old boy or the low end of the normal range for an adult female. And what do they seem to have in common? They all go and seek the advice and approval of Bradley Martin. Is this a coincidence? It could be a coincidence, and it can also be an indication that he might be a fake natty. But at the end of the day, we don't know. That'd be like someone telling me that I'm a fake natty because I work out with people that are on steroids. Do you know how idiotic that sounds? So far, this sounds like more of a personal bias more than actual facts. Dude, I swear to God, people are going to see this video and be like, he crashed his tag. Yeah. yeah, they're going to watch the video and think, yeah, another Isaiah Miranda. What is going on? Does everyone think that just because you go on a diet that you have low body fat levels that you automatically cross your testosterone to that of a female? Of course not. Once again, Greg is stretching the truth. He's educated on these topics. And Alex Eubanks' testosterone levels are 215 nanograms per deciliter. The average female between ages 18 and 49 years old is between 15 and 46 nanograms per deciliter. If you do the math, Alex's testosterone levels are five to 15 times that of a female. It's not comparable. Isaiah Miranda's testosterone levels in early 2020 match that of the low end of a normal range for a healthy female. That's comparable. I was shook. I was like, what do you mean 215? He was like, I'm surprised you could hold that much muscle with that. I was like, me too. And so his testosterone levels, 215 nanograms per deciliter. Very low, lower than what it should be. In fact, only about 1% of males would have testosterone levels that are that low. I'd like to see the source for that 1% claim, but if that's the case, then I'm also in the 1% for low testosterone two years ago because in 2020, my testosterone levels were 222, which is virtually the same as Alex Eubank. And I have a whole lot of muscle and I still did back then. Does this look like a guy who suddenly had crushed testosterone levels? Can you maintain such an amazing, impressive physique? Have you seen this guy's physique? Does it look like he has the testosterone levels of a girl? Once again, if Alex Eubank has testosterone levels the same as a girl, then so did I two years ago, and I had a whole bunch of muscle, claiming natural, built like a Greek god. This, what's also inconsistent is that Greg is very familiar with the photoshopping, so doesn't Greg realize that Alex does not necessarily look as good as some of his videos? This appears to me like it's just an aggressive effort for views. Does he? And so if he suddenly crushed his testosterone levels, would it not stand to reason that his physique would take a turn to the worst? 461 nanograms per deciliter. Higher than Jeff Nippert's. But oh, it's so low. How could I ever build muscle? It's right in the middle of normal. Right in the middle. And so stop complaining. Look at your physique. If it was low, how on earth could you have built the physique that you built? You can naturally keep a really good physique if your test levels are temporarily in the 200s for a certain amount of time. Now, obviously, if you do this for years and years on end, then that's gonna be a problem and your physique will fall apart. But no, it just keeps getting better. Looks better all while crushing his testosterone levels. Does that make sense? Yes, remember Greg? He photoshopped a lot of his content. He got better at angles and looking better in videos. Anyone that met him in person said that he looked good, but not quite as good as some of his videos and pictures. Just because Greg's reasoning doesn't prove that Alex is not natural doesn't mean that he is or isn't. In fact, he still might be a fake natural. With all that being said, Greg did make a couple good points about his cholesterol levels. That is one indication that Alex might be on PEDs. Lower more recently. I think it's probably just due to me having a lot lower fat diet. Or your HDL, which is the good cholesterol, is lower from taking SARMs and or steroids. When you take SARMs, steroids, even HRT, HDL, that is the first thing to go down. And so if your HDL suddenly went down, it is quite possible it's from taking PEDs. But at the same time, that's just one piece of the pie. That doesn't necessarily prove everything. 
At the end of the day, it is my belief that it's not fair to call him out as a fake natural just like that. We shouldn't call someone out on their natty or not status with some really weak data because that is a serious accusation and that can really affect someone's livelihood and brand. Once again, don't know whether he's natural or not and I don't really care, but I thought that video was very reckless, especially with Greg's audience. Greg's audience is a lot of impressionable people that are starting off into fitness. Greg does a great job of explaining things, making things a lot easier for people to understand, and I really like his content. In fact, I've been following Greg since before he blew up. I'm still a fan of his content. I followed him for the first time when he was on the Dave and Palumbo YouTube show in 2019, and I really gravitated and enjoyed his energy and content. If you guys are curious how I more than doubled my testosterone naturally at the age of 30, I go into more detail in a separate video. It took a long time and it was a lot of work, but it was definitely worth it. So go ahead and check that one out, guys. And if you guys enjoyed this video, please like, comment, subscribe, share if you guys agree with me that Greg was a little bit too aggressive in this video. And if you guys thought that my points were valid. So that's going to do it for today. I'll see you guys in the next video. Until next time.